Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to make a system image backup of your computer and then also how to restore it. Uh, you know, these could be used, let's say you're uh, testing a bunch of software and you install a bunch of things and you want to revert back to your version before you uh, made all these changes without having to uninstall and reconfigure your computer. You can just roll back to your uh, previous image that you made. Or let's say you want to use this for backups just in case you have something go horribly wrong, like a bunch of viruses, and then you could just roll back to before it all happened, and that kind of thing. So today we're going to use Aomi Backupper. Uh, we're going to use the free version, but they do have some other versions that you have to pay for. So if you see here, we got the standard freeware, professional, and workstation, and you can see the green check marks, so they kind of stop right here for the uh, free one. And one thing I wanted to point out here is you can't do dynamic disks with the free one, and so... To check that, you could go to Disk Management just to see what you have. And then if it says Basic, that means you're not dynamic, because normally you'd right-click on it and convert to dynamic, so you'd have the more basic versions. So for this computer, that'll work because we have Basic, but if not, you'd have to uh, buy the professional one there. Okay, so we already have it installed, so I'll put a link in the description, by the way. I'm just going to open it up here. Okay, so this is a backup that I did yesterday in my home screen here. And then I have some options to run another backup based on this guy here. Restore it, schedule it, edit it, delete it. You know, if I delete it, I could delete the job here and the backup image. Uh, shortcuts, advance. You could see how the pro version will show you, you know, things you can't do because it says pro. And then like if you go to the tools here, there's some other utilities that you can only use in the pro version. And like the clone, you can't do the clone to migrate it to a different computer, but we do have a video on some software that you can do that with. So if you want to check that out. And then the restore, which we're going to do. And then the sync. You know, most of it's for pro. So we're going to do the backup. So right here on my E drive, I have this system backup here. That's the one from yesterday. This is an old one that was deleted, so we could just delete this file folder. Okay, so we're going to click on System Backup. And now it wants to know where you want to put it. So this, we're going to put it on the E drive. And it'll make the folder called System Backup. So you could put it in the subfolder or put it right in the root of your backup drive. And then we're just going to click on Start Backup. There's also some additional options here if you want to do encryption, change the modes, run some commands. We're just going to do the basic one. You could play with these yourself. And then the basic backup scheme, full incremental differential, which is kind of cool. If you do multiple backups, then you don't have to have them as big because you could just backup just changes and that kind of thing. Okay, so we're just going to do our full backup here of our C drive. So here's our partitions that are on that C drive disk here. Now here's the uh, main one here with all the data, the C drive, and here's like, you know, your recovery partition and so on. So click on Start Backup. So then this guy is going to run for a while, so once this gets going, we'll just uh, pause the video and then be back when it's done. Okay, so the operation has been completed, so click on Finish. And so now we have our Backup 3, number 2 I deleted, so that's this one here. So now what we're going to do is make some changes on this computer. So let's start by just Deleting those guys here. Uh, what else could we do? Unpin this. Close that. Unpin. Unpin. Let's make a new bitmap image. Let's change the wallpaper or the theme. Okay, so now we have our desktop icons changed, our theme changed, our taskbar changed. So now what we're going to do is go back in and restore this. A couple ways you could do it. You could go to the restore section here. You could select a task from here. Select an image file and browse to it. But you, you know, as long as you know where your image file is, obviously. Right there. Or from your home screen, you could find your backup. And then just go down, click on the three lines. 
and click on restore. Now restore this system backup is what we want to do. You can restore it to another location as well. So it's telling you it's going to go from the C drive to the C drive there. And click on start restore. So it says current operation needs to be completed in a restart mode, which means obviously you can't restore your system Windows drive over your Windows drive while you're using it in Windows. So you got to click yes to this. And so now it's going to go through this here little process. And then once this is done, it'll reboot the computer and then start the uh, uh, restoration process. So we'll be fast forwarding or pausing this as well. Okay, so now the computer is restarting after that process. Okay, so here it looks like Windows is starting, but it's really going into the recovery mode here. Okay, so now it's going to start the restore, so this is going to take uh, quite a bit of time. So we'll have to pause and be back when this is finished. Okay, so the process completed, now it's restarting the computer again. All right, so let's log in and see what we got. All right, we're logged back in. So you can see we have the original uh, background image in place. Uh, the icons I deleted are back. The items I unpinned from the taskbar are back. So it looks like it did the job there. So I'll, once again, I'll put a link in the description. You could download the uh, free version, but if you need some of the extra features, then you could you know, try one of the pay-for versions. And then just remember what I said about the uh, basic and dynamic disks. It'll only work for basic disks on the free version. I haven't tried it with dynamic disks on the free version, but I'm assuming it's not going to work, so you could give that a shot. But anyway, so yeah, try it out and see what you think. Okay, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.